Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and in this NetSuite tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can reconcile your AP and AR aging reports in NetSuite to your balance sheet. Now, at times, there may be a disconnect with what you see on your aging reports versus the balance sheet accounts payable and accounts receivable number. So let's go through an example within NetSuite. Now, I'm using this development account, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our standard AP aging. Again, this will work with the AR aging side of the house as well, but I'm going to go to our AP aging, and I'm just going to go to our summary report. Within my summary report, I have this aging as the end of June 30th, 2025. So the end of June, I'm running this aging report number four, and you can see the total here is 14,503.11. Now, if I go ahead and run my standard balance sheet within NetSuite, this number should tie. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the, the balance sheet. And now when running this balance sheet, I'm running this as of June as well, 2025 for my parent company at a consolidated level. And when I take a look at this number, you can see the, the number doesn't exactly tie. My accounts payable is actually 9503.11. So there is a, a quite substantial disconnect here just based on my valuation of 14,000 and that 9,000 number. Now the most common approach for the disconnect between your AP and AR aging reports and your balance sheet is going to be date period mismatches. So what you can see down below here is I am running this as of, and this is the default, you're running it as of a date within your aging reports. However, to make sure that, that balance is to what I'm showing on my balance sheet, because my balance sheet is as of a period, I'm going to simply go ahead and go to home set preferences here. And underneath the analytics sub tab here, there is a report by period field. I'm going to go ahead and change this report by period to all reports. And what that's going to do is it's going to go and allow me to run my aging report as of June 2025. Again, right now it was a date rather than a period. So if I can change this to be all reports and simply save here, I can then navigate back to my AP aging summary report underneath reports, vendors and payables and AP aging. And now what you can see is if I go ahead and run this as of June, 2025, there is no date down below here and simply click on refresh. You will see the number has been updated from that 14,000 number to now 9,503.11. So now that number should directly tie to my balance sheet, 9,503.11. That's exactly the number. So in this instance, and most common, as I mentioned before, is there would be a vendor bill that has a June date. So in this case, there is a vendor bill and outstanding, which I'll get to in just a moment, that has a June date, but a July posting period. So if I go ahead and refresh this to be July 2025, go ahead and refresh, you'll see now that I see that 14,000 number in July. And if I go ahead and drill down into the, the delta here, so I go ahead and drill down into this 5,000 number and click on this vendor bill, this vendor bill came in in July. So you can see the posting period is July. However, the date on the vendor bill was in June. So there is a date period mismatch here. And that's why when running the aging, it does not tie directly to the balance sheet. If you want it to tie directly to the balance sheet, you're going to want to make sure to change that on your personal preferences as far as the reporting goes. Another option here would be to disallow any date period mismatches. So you would never have this scenario occur. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you how you can run your aging reports by accounts. It is common to have multiple AP or AR accounts in NetSuite. Not too many, but you most likely have maybe more than one. And to make sure that we can reconcile by account, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that AP aging report. And on this AP aging report, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on customize here. And when you're on the customized report builder page, what I would recommend is to expand the open payables section on the left-hand side. Simply scroll down here and you're gonna find the account, the first account, not the account line. And you're gonna look at the account. And you're gonna add in name GL style here. So once that name GL style has been added, you can simply click on move left all the way to the left-hand side and either give this a name if you're not already customizing a customized report and click on save, or you can just simply click on preview, which I'm gonna do here. 
And when I click preview, what this will do is it will now group my accounts payable, or if you're on the AR aging side, it would group your accounts receivable accounts. And this will give you a good reconciliation of, of looking at this number and comparing it directly to your balance sheet number. So this is very helpful if you do have multiple accounts to see where the difference may lie. Now I'm doing this at a summary level, but you can do the same thing at a detail level too, to make sure that you can drill down into the transactions or compare the transactions that are listed on each of the accounts. Other common scenarios that you might see are journal entries. They don't have due dates on journal entries. There might be uh, currency considerations, but the most common is going to be that date period mismatch. And hopefully that's helped on your side with reviewing this video. So this concludes the tutorial on how to reconcile your aging reports in NetSuite and your balance sheet number. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any further questions. Thank you.